What's up, YouTube? It's Elijah One Dream, and we're back again with another NBA 2K21 video. So today, we're actually gonna look at my jump shot that I've been using for my stretch four. Now, a few of you guys have been asking on my previous videos on my stretch, what jump shot are you using? What badges are you using? So I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys both of that. But as you can tell right away, Dwayne Wade, Rudy Gay, Rudy Gay. That's all the jump shot that, that I've been using. Honestly, I'm sure there was a lot of people that was using this jump shot last year. I'm pretty sure people would have tried this combination out. Dwayne Wade, a very, very popular base as of last year. Still really good this year. Rudy Gay probably has the best release in the game. It's just super easy to time. He has a great release point, nice and high too. So I'm pretty sure people definitely would have tried this out as both of them are very, very popular. Maybe even some of you guys have tried this out already. I don't know, but the speed, I do have it at 100% release speed, the fastest it can go. You definitely want that speed up if you're a stretch or a sharp because you want to get that shot off as fast as you can before the defense closes out too much and they get a bit of a too much of a contest to make you miss. So you definitely want to keep that jump shot speed up. I know it might be hard for some of you guys to time, but if you just give it time and practice your jump shot, you're going to be absolutely fine. And like you guys have seen in the clips before and the other clips, you can absolutely go crazy with this. I've had 30 point games easily, you can still hit some contested ones, but I'm going to show you guys what badges you need to use in order for that to happen. Now, let's get right into the badges. Alright, so as you can tell, I only have 24 of 27 shooting badges, so I'm almost maxed out there, but this is the setup that I'm using right now. Once I do max it out, I plan on trying some badges out and see how they work, but this is the setup I've been using. I've been getting a lot of greens. I'd say really the key badges you need are range extended hot zone hunter. Make sure you get those hot zones because it increases your green percentages a ton. Catch and shoot, that will also help a ton. Flexible release in case you get slightly late, slightly early, that kicks in for those. So it is actually a really nice badge this year. And if you have 27 badges like I do, like you might as well throw it on just in case you make those whites a bit more. Obviously that Hall of Fame Dead Eye is gonna be really good when defenders are late closing out, or if they do close out, you can still hit those contested ones. So it also is kind of a nice badge. Now I was running Green Machine on Silver, but I decided to try out Hall of Fame and once you get your shot down and you start green and man, it's pretty OP. You can definitely feel the kick in. You can feel that green window become a little bit bigger too. So with this setup you got right here, it's gonna be really, really nasty. So I do have one more gold badge that I can throw on. Now I'm not 100% sure what I would throw on. Difficult shots is definitely a nice badge and you can hit moving threes and moving mid ranges. So you might wanna throw that on gold. But you could also do clutch shooter that kicks in a lot too you do have a good uh post fade on most stretches slash sharp shooters so deep fades also could work too but i would say this is really the main badges that you would want in hall of fame or gold whatever you want to do <coughs> volume shooter i don't really know if you want to use that tireless shooter that is actually a really nice badge especially if you're a stretch or a sharp getting chased around by the lockdown it really helps a ton for those situations but like I said, uh, you don't really need corner specialist. You can if you want. If you have catch and shoot, you don't need corner specialist in my mind because, and hot zones especially too, like the corner is the easiest three ball in the game and you're a shooter. So that's gonna be the easiest spot for you to green. So I think just catch and shoot should be good for you there. But these are the badges that I run with. So go ahead, try out my jump shot. Try out these badges in Hall of Fame if you have a similar build or a same build. But yeah, let me know how it goes in the comment section. If this helped you out, make sure you drop a like below too. And if you're new, hit that sub button as well. I'd appreciate that very much. But we'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.